Leo, hello. I hope y'all are doing amazing. Happy birthday to you. So let's discuss this separation that you are in from this person. Um, let's get the signs out of the way first. Some of you are dealing with another Leo. Something could be significant about the number 13. There's Pisces energy here. Someone that feels very intimately towards you, very compassionate towards you. Okay, could be a highly intuitive person. We have a Capricorn for some of you. Some are very ambitious, realistic, and methodical. We have Taurus energy number 16 showing up. Taurus, Libra, Venus energy. This is someone who loves you a lot. And then we have the South Node, but the, the person is stuck in South Node energy, okay? So this could be um, a Scorpio or a Taurus person destined to release. So it feels like um, we're going to get some more signs. Don't, don't worry. That's not it. Probably all of the signs are here, but I just want to tell you why you're in separation from this person. Some of you already know, but I'll just confirm if you do know. Okay, let's get back to the signs. So some of you are dealing with an air sign, um, namely an Aquarius, but I'm also seeing strong Gemini. I'm seeing Libra as well, but mostly Aquarius and Gemini showing up. Strong Aries energy, strong Taurus energy. I'm seeing Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer, and uh, what else? That's That's about it. Virgo, for some of you, if I did not say that, okay? So let's get into it. Your first card out, what's really affecting your relationship, your connection with this person, is the number 41, the third house, communication, which is Gemini energy. So I'm going to read from the book. Okay, it says, check the lines of communication and your thinking process. First, repair any actual technical glitches like loose wires, computer, or phone problems. Then take this metaphor. Then take this metaphor a step further and look at how your messages are sent and received. Y'all know we are in Mercury retrograde right now. Make sure you understand what is intended in a letter or email you receive. Ask other people what they heard you say in an exchange. When in doubt, ask for more information and repair any miscommunication. Communication is the name of the game when it comes to this reading. Then take this metaphor in-house and look within. Notice the quality of your thinking. Repair glitches, stretch your mental muscles, and improve the quality of communication. You may need to learn new ways to express yourself so others hear your true intentions. Think about how you learn to communicate growing up through your relationships with siblings or sibling-like friends, your early school experiences. Investigate how those early relationships form mental habits that affect the present moment. You may need to get out of your head and get a fresh perspective. Observe and test your assumptions. Check for confirmation bias. The tendency to believe anything that supports your opinions and reject new information that challenges your worldview. And that's where that, that Gemini energy is showing up in your reading. So that could be your person that is having issues communicating with you. It says, read a spiritual text or ponder a metaphysical concept and let it stretch your mind. Check in with your siblings and sibling-like friends and look for any shadow of rivalry and see if you can switch to mutual encouragement where all win. It's up to you to refrain this dynamic. And I will tell you, for some of you, there is like an in-law, a sibling, a maternal figure, and a feminine in your person's energy that is causing a conflict between you two. Okay, so your challenge right now is chatter is not the same as communication. Sibling or sibling-like rivalry can challenge you to grow in small doses, but don't let it distract you from self-direction. Stay on target. The gift of this card is we are all siblings in the eye of spirit. Let that sink in. The numbers 99, 98, or 41 could be significant. Someone could be 41, born in 98, 99. Okay. Now, what I did here... So there's communication issues, but we are going to unpack this, y'all. This is going to be a pretty in-depth reading, so just bear with me because there's a lot to go through here. Um, your, your tarot card, I only pulled one tarot card to start the reading, and then I pulled more to clarify later. So your tarot card is the hermit, which means that there's no communication between you and someone. There is someone who has withdrawn from this connection. Now, I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's the other person, but somebody is being introspective, trying to figure themselves out right now, and they could have just ghosted, okay? When I ask the cards, well, what is the reason they ghosted? What's really going on with this person? We get the number 31, greed. And I am seeing someone here who could be in very good physical shape, okay? Um, the entity on this card 
is someone lifting weights. So that could be significant. This could be like a gym person, a gym rat, or somebody that takes very good care of their body. Um, something could be significant about the gym when it comes to this person and you. They could be 31 years old. That could also be someone's birthday, the date you met, something like that. I want to go into what this card represents. This person that you're dealing with is extremely intelligent. Not only are they intelligent, they're funny. They're witty. This person could like work a room, okay? Um, they may be a person who could be a writer. They don't have to be, but there's something very deep about this person showing up as the hermit and this energy that I'm pulling from this card that talks about greed. This person has a way of really like getting whatever they want. Okay, this person could be older than you. I'm looking at possibly someone 40 and up, but we have some other ages here as well. So just give me a second. Again, there's a lot to um, pull from here. So this person could be very artistic. They could be very creative. Um, and they have the ability to just, you know, the, the, the gift of this card that I pulled for you is somebody who can make men invisible. And what I feel like this person can go ghost on you. And I also feel like they can tune out if they need to. There's something kind of cold about this person that I'm picking up on. Hmm. They're very powerful, whoever they are, but they could let their power, they could abuse their power. They could let it really go to their head because of the fact that they are powerful. They are successful. They are showing up as someone who could be a teacher. This person has a way of like weaving their words in a way that magnetizes people. They're like really intelligent. Let's get into this, y'all. So you pulled the hermit card. And let's talk about the hermit card introspection withdrawal understanding in essence the hermit was discovered has discovered the stars that glow inside her she encourages you to practice introspection to find that the whole universe coalesces inside you it provides the brightness you need to see in the dark the light that shines within mirrors the one without the light that shines within mirrors the one without what you carry is not separate from what those around you carry Okay, someone could be 28 or 29, or those numbers could be significant dates, birth dates, whatever. Do you want to grasp the deep meaning of life? Take time in solitude. Honor your desire to understand the inner workings of the universe by seeking silence and time for contemplation. Return to your core, which is where you'll find simplicity. The inner strength, I'm sorry, the, that inner simplicity holds all the complexities of this realm and perhaps others as well. All the answers are there already, waiting for you to merely become aware of them. So the shadow aspect of this card is to cultivate the uh, connection to your inner universe, but also know that you are still part of the physical reality you are in. There's a lot to marvel at here, too. Don't seclude yourself so much that you can't appreciate the pink terrains of this planet. Your time here is limited. The inner truth to be found should serve a fuller experience of your existence in the world. You don't need to guard your infinity. Share it with others, for their essence matches yours. Your tip that this card is highlighting is to turn a mundane task into a mediation. Meditation, Lord. How fully aware of yourself and what's happening could you be while doing dishes? How present can you get while doing laundry? So let me just tell you, there's someone showing up in your energy that is... <sighs> they've, got, they've gone ghost on you. They've gone quiet on you. This person is in an energy of greed. For some of you, they're showing up as someone who could run a business, be very successful, somebody who's career focused right now, and maybe they're neglecting other, other areas of their life. I did pull a channel song for you all. You have Romantic Call by Patra, who is a Scorpio Sag Cusper. So your person could be on a Scorpio Sag Cusp, be a Scorpio or a Sagittarius, okay? And then I pulled, I have a deck that shows musical couples. You pulled T.I. and Tiny, okay? So they're showing up as lifetime drama controversy threesomes a gang of kids and you do have children on the table and you have a blended family wow so your person could have a lot of children with someone this could be someone that you have a lot of children with it doesn't have to be that you have a lot of children but you could be a blended family okay but i am seeing a libra person show up here very strong just intuitively i feel that might be an issue doesn't have to be a libra but i feel like it could be and she feels either like an older feminine older than you maybe even older than your person or both Oh, she's coming across as someone that they really value the opinion of, okay? Uh, however, she doesn't give sound advice at all, whoever she is. Okay, so 
the interesting thing about T.I. and Tiny is that they are both cardinal signs, which means they're both leaders, trendsetters, you know, pioneering spirits is what they are. And these two are not compatible naturally. Cancer and Libra are not naturally compatible. Doesn't mean they can't work. I know some Libra cancer couples and, and they can work. So you and your person might actually both be fixed signs because these two are the same modality, but they're not compatible, which would mean you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio. Interestingly enough, you do have Rahu energy here. You do have the South Node energy show up for you, which means that somebody is stuck in like a materialistic kind of energy. Okay. They are being greedy and spirit is planning to humble this person because Rahu shows up. I'm sorry, not Rahu, y'all. Forgive me. Kitu. Kitu shows up when someone needs to redirect their attention to life, the things that matter, and not so much materialism. This person feels for you that everything is better with you. It says, let's do life together. I feel like your person has a lot of feelings for you, but the thing is, they're showing up as the Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords, which is showing up as rest and fear. So this could be a Gemini or a Libra person. I feel like this person thinks about you a lot, but I feel like they don't speak up. They don't say anything. And a lot of the people that you all are dealing with are very heavily focused on money, even though they know they want to be with you. You become almost like an afterthought, okay? Because it is greed that this person has. This person is up at night a lot worrying and it feels like it's about money. They could also be worrying about your connection, but it's like this person may sleep during the day and work at night. I don't know if they work a night job or if whatever they do for a living, whatever they do with their business, because it looks like they could be a business person, may keep them up at night. Maybe it's the nightlife. Maybe it's like something they do in the, you know, I don't know, the party world or something. Not that they are partying, but on the business side of things. They own a club. They own a, you know, bar or something. I don't know. Something like that. It's like this person is sleeping more during the day than at night. If that would make any sense to you, okay? They're like burning the midnight oil, which may be why you have the hermit card, because that is a dark card. It does talk about the underworld as well. So this person, I don't know, for some of you, they could be into some stuff that may not be 100% legit. If you know that, you know that. If you don't, don't worry about it. The next card that we have is, what are we waiting for? Let's do this. I'm ready. Now, this is showing up as the king of pentacles with the hermit card. So you have a Taurus or Virgo person here. Your person is very focused on their money. For some of you, the energy of what are we waiting for? Let's do this is your energy. Why aren't we spending time? Why aren't you making me a priority? And it's because this person is quiet and withdrawn because they are trying to work on their finances. This is their their MO right now. That's all they're thinking about. Modus operandi is I need to make money. Okay, I need to be financially stable. Maybe this person is expanding their business. They're growing their business. They're doing something here with their money. It's a heavy focus on money. Your next card is children. This is bigger than the two of us and there's a lot at stake. Let's make thoughtful decisions since we can't afford to play games here. Interestingly enough, that's clarified by the Queen of Swords and the Five of Wands, which shows some kind of communication issues, some fights going on, some disagreements going on. For some of you, this is an ex-wife, an ex-husband, baby daddy or baby mama that has come between you and this person. This person is really jealous of you in competition with you, and they could threaten this person to keep their kids away from them. If it's not a baby mama, baby daddy, ex-husband, ex-wife, or an ex, this is someone that, again, they're not related to, but she has, or he, it looks like a woman, though. She has something that she holds over their head, okay? There's a lot of mind games that this person plays. She has some low level of control, and it could be because he's trying to keep the peace with her. He doesn't want to argue with her because of the children that are involved. Now, let's get into who this person might be based on some of these cards, okay? If you haven't picked up their energy yet, for some of you, they're showing up as a wife. I understand this could be a husband as well, but I'm seeing for some of you, this is a feminine. You see them as marriage material and maybe someone that you have divorced before. So this could be an ex-husband or ex-wife of yours. We have the number 20 being significant, either a birth date or this could be someone's age. Or maybe when you met, the date you met, something about that number is significant. Um, how many years you've been together, whatever, or known each other. So we have the King of Swords showing up as someone who's 40 years of age or older. This someone is... this. Of this someone this person is stoic serious and honest stoic serious and honest okay so a straight shooter and then we have misleading okay so this person has trust issues they could be an, an aquarius a strong aquarius a lot of air energy here 
This person is the great debater. They're analytical, smart, and curious. They are a thinker who can... Um, wait, I'm sorry, y'all. A thinker who can't resist an intellectual challenge and doesn't take no for an answer. Y'all remember what it said in the book. This is definitely Mercury energy. It's Gemini energy. So for some of you, your person could be a know-it-all. They don't take no for an answer. Confrontational, brave. Okay, so this person is 20 to 35 for some of you. And this person is showing up as an extroverted, intuitive, thinking, prospecting person. An ENTP personality type. A social butterfly. An Aries person or Gemini. Again, someone who's the life of the party. This person is not shy. They're not quiet. They're not reserved. There's something about them that it feels very abnormal for you not to talk to them. It's like when this person goes quiet, you know something is wrong. You're like, what are they up to? Who are they talking to? What's really going on behind the scenes? Well, I'm not saying that they're necessarily talking to anyone else at all. It just feels like they're being very cold. They're being extremely cold. And with this T.I. and Tiny energy showing up, I'm getting some of you could be on a Cancer Leo cusp. Or you're embodying that Cancer energy. Very loving, nurturing, unforgiving. Unforgiving. I did not mean to say that. Forgiving. Understanding is what I meant to say. Someone very supportive. So it feels to me like you have this unconditional love. And then T.I. is a Libra, which can be kind of cold, you know. So it, it's like you're the one that kind of has kept this relationship going. And maybe you have kind of like swallowed your pride a lot and tolerated way more than you probably should have from this person. We're going to get some messages from Spirit, but I also want to tell you what this person wants to say to you while you two are not speaking. There's something about the connection with you that made them feel suffocated or smothered. And it could be that you were just giving them love, which is sad, but unfortunately, it's like that sometimes. This person is saying that they were losing themselves in your connection, okay? But they're also saying that you have a serious hold on them and it confuses them. They don't want you to walk away for good. They're not leaving you much of a choice though because the communication sucks real bad, okay? Now, remember I said this person suffers from confirmation bias. There is something about your person that might be a little bit rigid and inflexible and maybe you feel like you can't get through. You two butt heads a lot with the five of wands here. But I do feel like this is more of an ex a karmic in your person's energy that is coming between you two. Understand a karmic, a third party does not have to be someone they're romantically involved with. I don't think they want this person. I don't, even if they have history with them in that way, they don't want them. Let's get to your messages from spirit. Your first message is, I am worthy of the love of my dreams. Spirit wants you to ask yourself, what qualities and attributes do you value in a partner? And how do these qualities reflect your own self-worth? Okay, so it's like, are you selling yourself short when you think about your your checklist of, you know, what you need in a partner? Or are you maybe wanting more than you even give yourself? Just kind of take some inventory of that. We have we honor each other's perspectives, even when we differ, creating unity and diversity. So you two have two different ways of thinking. And spirit is saying here that you both need to respect each other's points of view. You both need to really be true to yourselves and to one another truthful with yourselves and to each other about the way that you communicate with each other. I'm seeing a lot of kind of push and pull energy. I'm seeing a lot of on again, off again, hot and cold, like speaking, not speaking, speaking, not speaking. And maybe even with them, especially going really cold and just acting like you don't even matter. You don't even exist. Your next message is birthday. A significant birthday holds the answer to your question. Wow. Some of you could be born on the 20th. Because the number 20 is, is sitting here so bold in my face. You don't have to be, but you could be. And so for some of you, something is significant about your birthday. I can't believe that card came out. It is your birthday season. So for some of you, this person may pop up. But what I will tell you to be mindful of, especially during this Mercury retrograde, a miscommunication. Remember, I told y'all yesterday, I see you clashing egos with someone. And these cards are definitely suggesting that there could be some kind of confrontation. And it's like somebody here, and it feels like your person... They don't ever think they're wrong. They're stubborn. And they have this kind of my way or the highway attitude. And they could like punish you if you stand up for yourself. And don't nobody have time for that. So we have easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything. And all the doors will open for you. And I really feel like that's a message for them and you. I feel like with you, some of you may want this really bad. And you're just like, I want my person. And I want it to work out. And Spirit is saying, just kind of let it go and let it fall back into your lap. As opposed to like chasing it, even energetically, like you don't have to do that. Let them come to you because you are worthy of that. And I also feel like Spirit is telling your person to stop trying to know everything and control everything. And then they could have more peace with you. I'm seeing a lot of dolphins here. Something could be significant about Miami, Florida, or someone could be a Pisces. 
And I think that is where we're going to end this reading. I just wanted to let you all know what was going on with your person. They are in a very greedy, self-absorbed energy. They are quiet. They are withdrawn. They're not speaking up. They're going through something financially. Even if they're financially stable, there could be something here that they're not telling you. Um, and it may be because you two have had an argument. I'm definitely seeing a lot of argument um, energy, a lot of miscommunication. You two just need to really sit down and hear each other out. And they could be trying to search for the words right now to communicate with you um, with the hermit showing up twice. But they're definitely showing up as quiet. Four of swords and two um, hermit cards on the table mean that this person is not speaking up. And I do feel like they want to be with you, but they still have to figure themselves out. You know, they do. The fact that romantic call is here, showing up as a sweet message, someone asking you out, expressing feelings, and talking all day and night on the phone. So for some of you, they may pop up for your birthday. Maybe they already have. Um, and there could be a long conversation. There could definitely be a little bit of hiccups in this conversation. I would just say be mindful of how you react and and how you communicate. You know, because you can only control your part. You can't control their part. This person feels a little bit like they got a, a lit fuse. I don't know what's going on with them, but it could just be the stress that they're in right now. And I also feel like they kind of miss your light when I'm looking at the hermit here twice. For some of you, you are this person's guiding light. That's why they're saying everything is better with you. Let's do life together. They want to be with you, but they just have to figure out some things on their own to do with their business, their money, and also just being able to prioritize people over money because everything ain't about money, man. It's like... Look, I'm a Taurus. I love money just as much as the next person. But what matters is the relationships, the things you can do with the money. And what can you do with money if there are no other people involved? Nothing. Nothing. So it's like this person has to make you a priority. And some of you, Spirit is telling you to just feel worthy of it because you deserve the love of your dreams. And it's just as simple as that. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.